Hey Taurus, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for April 2022 and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And the roles for this reading can be reversed because it is general. Okay, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is going on with you? In a love connection. Alright, for the situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Devil. Alright, starting off with two major Arcana cards, and they are pretty powerful, so I do feel like there is a lot that is going on for you at the moment. Um, you're, either you or another person is feeling a push from the universe, possibly, or just from within your own self, for a shift, for a change. And this change is actually going to be for the best. Um, but we do have the devil crossing that, which is the challenge for you. So it could be that there is a fear that is holding you back or the other person, all right, if it's, if, if it's them. Um, an attachment, possibly, just something that might be um, unhealthy, possibly even in this person's own mind. So we'll see what that is when we clarify. But let's see, for you we have the Nine of Wands the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is a lot of resistance. Wow. Um, I think these are like the three top cards for resistance, and they all came out here. Okay, so um, it's, it's because it's challenging, whatever this is, whatever this shift is, I feel like it is very, very significant that you are being pushed towards, um, or that you're the change that you're wanting to make. It's, it's a really, really big one. And because of that, it can be really scary and it can be a little bit intimidating. It can feel like, you know, um, it can feel like maybe you don't have what it takes or that it's just requiring too much from you. And so it makes sense and it's only natural that, you know, when it's something like this that we would have our guard up concerning this or just kind of not want it to be there and just kind of, you know, want to wish it away. Um, yeah, so that's... That's the state that I feel like you're, you're in here. Um, on the other hand, I do also feel like you, while you're doing this, like while you're resisting some kind of a change, I do feel like you're also kind of setting your boundaries and um, just setting your standards at the same time for a particular situation. So that's good. Um, let's see for the other person here or another person here. We have the Page of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Well, I don't know who this is, um, or even if this person is in your life, but there's definitely somebody here who is really wanting to connect with you, big time. Um, this is somebody who is very, very confident in wanting a commitment with you. Somebody who feels a very strong connection with you, possibly somebody from your past. So this person may or may not be in your life. This may or may not be the change that you're trying to make. Um, it really does depend, but this is someone who just has a lot of love for you, a lot of emotions. Uh, maybe somebody who's even wanting to apologize for something or just express something emotionally to you. But this person definitely wants commitment. So you may or may not be aware of this because I'm not sure if they have communicated this to you, although I do see them really, really wanting to, so it is likely that they could. Um, for the potential outcome here, we have the Ten of Wands. Which, okay, that can be a difficult energy, but at the same time, I feel like because it's a progression from this seven and the nine that you have up here, I see this as you just reaching the point where, you know, I feel like you're just, won't, you won't be able to resist this shift anymore and you're just going to go for it, whatever that is for you. So, let's, let's clarify. 
and see what is going on here. So I think I shifted the lighting a little bit and I'm not sure if it, I mean, it actually looks kind of, let me see, give me one sec guys. Mm, it doesn't look like it changed much. I don't know, okay, it is what it is. <laughs> Let's see, for the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil. The Tower, the Two of Wands and Temperance. Okay, so whatever the shift is, yeah, it's it's intimidating. It's it's you're feeling like it's going to create a tower, and you know what? Maybe it will. Like I, you know, I can't tell you that it's not. Um, maybe it will, but what I do see is that whatever this tower is that might be created um, by you actually trusting whatever this pushes for a shift. Um, at, which I do feel like you've been stalling, like you're looking at it, but you're just kind of postponing it for later. Whatever that tower is, though, that's going to happen if you make this change, it's followed by peace, it's followed by balance, it's followed by healing. This is also Sagittarius energy. Um, I think I did say we have Capricorn. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, so I'm mentioning it now. Um, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's just a fear of of this shift bringing about this tower that in your mind might feel like it's going to be something very destructive and what I'm seeing here is that it's not it's not going to be destructive all right so let's see let's see that nine of wands and again the roles can be reversed okay so this definitely could be the other person here so for the nine of wands we have the four of wands and the fool okay so there's Something here that's feeling, yeah, it's feeling challenging and it's um, concerning either some kind of a commitment, doesn't have to be like um, a relationship with another person, a commitment can be anything, something that maybe you have felt to be your grounding um, for I don't know how long, possibly for a pretty long time because it feels like something very secure. Um, but it's like you're ready for something new here, you're ready to take some kind of a leap, some kind of a risk, or whatever it is, I mean, it feels like a risk to you, it doesn't necessarily have to be risky, but <clears throat> your perception of it is, is that of risk. Um, but, like I said, I feel like it's, <clears throat> it's going to bring something really beautiful. Um, Alright, let's see the Four of Pentacles. The world and the page of pentacles. So whatever this is, I mean, it's something that is um, going to involve closing out a cycle, ending a chapter in your life in some way. Um, it's going to be successful if you take that first step. I feel like you're resisting taking that first step. It's like you're holding back. Um, it's like you, you, you've put these chains, like if you see this image, it's this door with chains on it and you're just like, nope, nope, not doing it. But you're still feeling that push though. You're still feeling that push and I feel like you are, um, kind of moving in that direction, but just with, I don't know, I feel like it's some stubbornness, which is characteristic of Taurus, so... <clears throat> can't blame you for that. Um, yeah, let's see that Seven of Wands. It really just feels like more of the same. It's like one big same message here in this reading. All right, we have the Chariot. Okay, so that's Cancer Energy and the Five of Pentacles. So it's like you're guarding yourself against this shift because there's this sense of possibly losing control. It feels very unknown. Like I said, it feels risky. I feel like you actually feel it coming on like, like pretty intensely and pretty quickly. 
And the one thing that might be intimidating here is that there's a fear of losing something. Or of being rejected or of, or of abandonment. Um, so those are just the issues that I feel are presenting themselves to you during this time. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Just, you know, acknowledge them. Just acknowledge it. Even if you continue to resist, you know, acknowledge, at least acknowledge the, the resistance. All right. And you, and you will figure it out. All right. So let's see what's going on with this person that you're somewhat dealing with, or that's just here. For the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person has a lot of clarity. It's really that simple. This person has a lot of clarity that they want um, a commitment with you. So if this isn't somebody you know, then this might be somebody that is coming in and this person might come in like um, as soon as you make that shift. Um, I mean, this person is like very dedicated, very, um, very stable, very grounded. And pretty much wants this commitment with you. Again, for most of you, I do feel like it's somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. And if not, if it's if it's somebody new that comes in, um, this is somebody that you may have shared past lives with. There's just this really like deep soul connection here with this person. So let's see the Six of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Hmm. So their Four of Pentacles is actually different from yours. Um, if this is somebody from your past, which I do get is going to be for most of you, um, this is somebody who never got over you. This is someone who is still holding on to that nostalgia for you. And not only that, they're holding on to some regret possibly. So I do feel like for a lot of them, there's an apology here that they're also wanting to express to you. Um, it could be that there's something that they're either feeling guilty about or just um, a regret for or just still feeling the loss um, that they had to that they had to cope with with you. For others of you, if this is somebody new, well then this is um, part of the past life that they're carrying forward in this lifetime. There's something here where, I mean, it's going to be different for each of you, but there's, there's a sense of loss. There's a sense of grief that is attached to the connection, especially from this person's side of things. All right. And it's something that they have not been able to let go of. Let's see the King of Pentacles, The Five of Swords and the Six of Swords. It's like this person is really determined to um, to really have this commitment and stability with you at all costs. This is somebody who would be willing to fight for you. Um, I would even say that they would um, just even be willing to um, disappoint others in order to have you and to make peace with you. This could even be somebody who may have betrayed you in some way. I'm not getting it as like a, like a very deceitful kind of a betrayal. It could just be somebody who was not just so aware of the connection with you um, or of what it is that they wanted. Or maybe, you know, they had been um, subconsciously, like, selfish in some way. Or just something, something here. Where they're wanting to make peace. They're wanting to correct that, leave that in the past. Wow. All right, so let's see the Ten of Wands. I mean, I don't really see you... Like coming in contact with this person because I feel like you you're so resistant to this shift. Um, but this person is there. Some of you may be aware of it. Some of you might not. So let's see. Ten of Wands. 
Ten of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Devil. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh. Um, it's like, well, first of all, let me just call out Capricorn, okay, um, showing up here. And secondly, it's like, you know, it's up to you, really. It's up to you how you want to handle this. I feel like your intuition is there, right, with this high priestess. Your intuition is there. It's telling you, it's talking to you about this Wheel of Fortune. It's talking to you about how you can make a change. You can make a shift. It's just really all about trusting that. And yes, making that shift there, it might require some kind of an ending here, some kind of an ending that, yeah, you know, that's intimidating. Um, and I feel like you're dreading the worst about that ending, about whatever that closing out, closing out that cycle or chapter is. Um, it feels scary. It feels scary. But see, that's, that's just your fear. I feel like your fear is keeping you from allowing the tower to fall. And I feel like basically what the message here is, is um, don't allow your fear to prevent you from um, letting that tower fall, basically. Let that tower fall. It's just fear that's, that's keeping you back. And like I said, that tower, it's actually attached to temperance. All right, which is healing, it's balance, it's peace. Um, I don't think it's going to be as dramatic as it might appear to be at the moment. All right, it, it doesn't have to be this Ten of Swords. That Ten of Swords, that's attached to the devil. It's not real. So it's really just about, you know, releasing those wands, right? That, those Nine Wands, the Seven of Wands. Um, and releasing yourself of that burden because I feel like it's just going to keep burdening you until you give in to your intuition, whatever that is. And then I feel like, you know, after that, I mean, it just feels like everything is going to fall into place. Um, and if you are, if you are standing up for yourself and setting some boundaries, you know, keep doing that as well. That's, that's a good thing in this case. All right, so Taurus, if this resonated, let's get the final message. Oh, and we have anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. Take that as it resonates. We all have anger, and it is very natural to have anger, right? It's a human um, emotion. So it's all about how we use anger, how we let that guide us to understand what we truly feel. So, um, and this could apply to anything in your life and it might even be applying to another, another person, okay? So just take the messages as they make sense for you. So Taurus, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.